Sweetie, hurry up and do something entertaining or else you won't get any entertainment points. Okay, Mommy, I can be entertaining. I can make fart noises with my armpit. <laughs> Wait, Mommy, why am I doing this? You're six now. That means you need to start earning your own entertainment points for your basic necessities. You'll need your entertainment points in order to do anything. Drink water, go to the bathroom, eat food, sleep. So you must always be entertaining. The more entertaining you are, the more points you get. But mommy, who am I being entertaining for? The viewers. The viewers? Are you hungry? I made breakfast. I can't eat breakfast, mom. I can't even drink water. I don't have any entertainment points left. Well, you're going to need to use your entertainment points to get to school on time, too. You better start entertaining the viewers. Look at me. I'm so silly. I'm putting lipstick all over my face. <laughs> Sweetie, your breakfast is cold. Did you get any entertainment points yet? Not yet, Mom. I literally just started. I just got seven entertainment points. I think the viewers like it when I yell at you. Stop talking to me, Boomer. Excuse me? You look like you're seconds away from expiring. <laughs> Stop screaming at me! Mom, put the spatula down! I'm gonna give you something to scream about! <laughs> That'll teach you. Well, how am I gonna be entertaining now, Mom? The viewers liked it when I yelled at you! Why don't you ask them what they'd like to see? What do you guys want to see? Do anwa anwa anwa. I don't even know what that is! Just say anwa anwa and do a dance! Anwa 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 I'm getting so many points! That gave me so many entertainment points, but I'm not going to spend them on breakfast. I'll only use them to get to school. I want to save up my points. But you'll be hungry. Hi, Timmy. What are you doing? I'm going to entertain my viewers and eliminate you. Timmy, I don't understand. Why do you have to eliminate me to entertain your viewers? Because they don't find anything I do entertaining anymore. I haven't ate. I haven't even drank water because my viewers haven't gave me any entertainment points. But when I eliminate you, they're going to find that entertaining for sure. I'll get so many points. Timmy, know to save yourself? Say bye-bye. Timmy's eliminated. Does that mean the viewers can control what happens? <laughs> Sophie, what's going on? My entertainment points are going down. You must be boring your viewers, so they're deducting points. You need to entertain them. Do the karma dance. Karma's a bee. Did I do it right? I'm getting points, so it must be good enough. Brian, are you okay? I'm just feeling really lightheaded. I haven't drank or ate anything today. I wanted to save my points. Don't worry about saving your points. You should really drink something. Viewers, do you think it would be entertaining if I drank or ate something? Answer 20 questions for a cash prize? Obviously, I'm going to do it. Did you just agree to play 20 questions? Of course, I'll get money. Yeah, you'll get money. That is if you survive. The questions they ask are very personal. And if you lie or say the wrong answer, you'll die. Brianna, you told Timmy you couldn't go to his birthday party because you were busy. What's the real reason you didn't go to his birthday? This is an easy question. The real reason is you were busy, right? No, Timmy. The real reason I didn't go to your birthday is because I wanted to stay home and watch every single Barbie movie that's ever been made. It wasn't because I was busy. How could you do that? It was my birthday. Timmy, wait. Don't talk to me. We're not friends anymore, Brianna. Hey, babe. Babe, you're late. I know. Jake, who do you find more attractive, Brianna or her best friend, Sophie? It's me, of course, right? Yeah, babe, of course it's you. <laughs> Brianna, English or Spanish? Baby, you got something in your nose. Brianna, English or Spanish? Baby, you got something in your nose. Brianna, hurry, answer the question. Oh, uh, English? Ew, Jimmy, that's disgusting. You just farted? What? No, I didn't. Ew! Yeah, everyone, Jimmy farted. He's so gross. Ew, Jimmy, you are so gross. Brianna, did you fart and blame it on Jimmy? No way, she wouldn't do that. Right? Only a crazy person would blame someone else. Mm. I did, okay? I did! You framed me! You're a terrible person. I can't believe you tried to frame Jimmy. I have to go. Brianna, come back to class. It wasn't a big deal. Yes, it is, Sophie. These questions are like a personal attack. I'm so scared what I'll be asked next. Brianna, who was the person that drove the car that killed Sophie's dad? Wait, if it's asking you that, that means you know. Brianna, if you knew who did it, why wouldn't you tell me? You knew I was looking for the person who did that to my father. Not even the police could figure it out. I didn't tell you, Sophie, because 
It was me. I was the one who drove the car. What? How could you do that? Why would you do that? It was an accident, Sophie. I swear. He jumped in front of the car, and then I got scared I'd get in trouble, so I just drove off. Accident or not, it doesn't matter. I'm turning you into the police. How are you going to turn me in, Sophie? You don't even have evidence. I've been recording this entire conversation on my phone. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Brianna? I am going to... Grab Sophie's phone out of her hand! Brianna! Look, everyone! The fart blamer's running away! Brianna! Why are you running? Brianna, what is the reason you're running away? Are you running because you framed another person for farting? Go on, tell us! The reason I was running is because... There you are, Brianna! It's someone I know. I can take you to him. Do you know him personally? What's his name? Are you guys friends? I guess you could say that. Brianna, who? Shh! Not right now, Sophie! I can take you to him, but not right now. Meet me outside the school at 10 p.m. and make sure that nobody sees you. 10 p.m.? But that will only give me two hours to find my soulmate! Do you trust me or not? I don't trust you! I don't even know you, but... You're my only hope, so... I guess I have to. Great. I'll see you later. You ready to go? Yeah. Here, take my hand. You really know where my soulmate is? I do. Don't worry. I'll bring you to him. Why'd you take me to a graveyard? Look at the gravestone in front of you. R.I.P. Jimmy? Who's Jimmy? Is that supposed to be my soulmate? It is. That's me. I'm Jimmy. Look. Your symbol. It's the same as mine. Because I'm your soulmate. Wait. But if you're Jimmy, then why does it say on this gravestone that you're dead? Mommy, why is there an ice cream on my hand? Sweetie, that's your soulmate symbol. Soulmate symbol? At age six, everyone receives a symbol on their hand, and the only person that will have the same symbol as you is your soulmate. You must find your soulmate before you turn 18 or else... You'll die! Nah! Did you find the person who has your matching symbol yet? No, Mom, I haven't. You only have five days left until you turn 18. If you don't find it, you'll... Look, Mom, I know. I've been looking every single day. I look at everyone's hands, and I don't see anyone that matches my soulmate symbol. I don't know what else to do. Well, you need to look harder. Look for a brown piece of... Ice cream. I know. Don't worry, Mom. I'll find my symbol in time, okay? I hope so. Sophie, I only have five days left to find my soulmate symbol. Darn. Hey, I found my soulmate symbol today. We both have matching hearts. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, Sophie, that's so sweet. Who's that guy over there? Over there? That's Timmy. His symbol. It's brown and squiggly. It kind of looks like mine. Go to him. Maybe you have the same symbol. Timmy! Timmy! Ah, uh, who are you? What do you want from me? I think that we might be soulmates. There's no way we're soulmates. Our symbols don't even look the same. Yes, they do. They look kind of similar, don't they? No, they don't. Mine is a brown swirl, and yours looks like a piece of... Well, Brianna, was Timmy your soulmate? No! Nah. Did you find your matching symbol today? No. So, did you find your matching symbol? No. Hey, Bree, did you find your matching... Ah! <laughs> no. I think today's the day you're going to find your matching symbol. It's been four days, Sophie. Four days. I have one day left to find my matching symbol. And if I don't, it's bye-bye from Earth. You might as well just say your goodbyes to me now, Sophie, because I'm going to be gone forever. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but your symbol. I know someone who has the exact same one. Who? I mean, what is this word on my forehead? It won't come off. Sweetie, that's your soulmate word. Soulmate word? Yes, but the word's not finished yet. Only your soulmate will have the other half of the word. If you think someone has the other half of your word, you can press your heads together. And if your word disappears, that means they're your soulmate. But the word you and your soulmate makes also has meaning. In your case, that isn't very good. Why, Mommy? Because the word represents how your relationship with your soulmate will be. The other half of your word might be heart, which means you'll be heartbroken. <gasps> Look, everyone. Brianna's forehead says broken. That means she's going to have a bad relationship with her own soulmate. You guys don't know that for sure. The other half of my word could be something good. I don't know how the word broken could ever be good. I already met my soulmate. Our word is lovely. Aww. Hey, Brianna. I saw someone today that had heart written on their forehead. Maybe they're your soulmate. It would match your word perfectly. Who? Who is it, Eugene? Show me now. First, you need to do something for me. All right, Eugene, what is it? What do you need me to do for you? I need you to say on video that Eugene is the smartest, coolest, hottest guy in the school. No, Eugene, I'm not saying that. It's not true. Fine, then I won't show you where your soulmate is. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll say it. Eugene is the smartest, coolest, hottest guy in the school. Now say that you mean it and you're not lying. I mean it.
I'm not lying. Perfect. <laughs> good. Is that good enough now, Eugene? Now show me where my soulmate is. All right, but first you need to put this on. Remove the blindfold. Ugh. Was a blindfold really necessary, Eugene? Yes, it was. Look, there's your soulmate. Stinky Sam? Eugene, I thought you were going to show me someone who has the word heart on their forehead. Yeah, and I did. It says fart. Sorry about that, Sam. Eugene told me I would meet my soulmate. You don't think we might be soulmates? I don't think fart broken is a word. You said you were looking for the word heart, right? Yeah. I haven't seen that word, but I saw another word that might match yours. I saw someone with un written on their forehead. <gasps> Stinky Sam, who is unwritten on their forehead? Unbroken. Unbroken. It matches perfectly with my word. That person might be my soulmate. I'll tell you who it is, but first, I have a favor to ask you. Okay, what is it? Never call me Stinky Sam again. But you smell really, really bad. That's it. I'm not helping you find your soulmate. Okay, fine. Stinky, I mean Sam, I won't ever call you that again. Thank you. Now I'll take you to the guy who has the word unwritten on his forehead. His name's Jimmy. Jimmy? Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Sam. Hi, Jimmy. Who are you? That's Brianna. She might be your soulmate. That's true. Together, we'd make the word unbroken. It matches perfectly, and that would mean we would have an unbroken relationship. Well, there's only one way to find out if you're my soulmate. Bonk our heads together? Exactly. Ready? Oh. Ow, you didn't have to bonk my head that hard. Your word is still there. Jimmy, you're not my soulmate. Hey, what's up, you guys? Oh, hey, Timmy. Timmy, I don't think we've met before. I'm... Timmy, your forehead, it says... Oh, time to get ready for school. I have to get ready for school in five seconds. I need to at least brush my hair. My toothbrush. I need my toothbrush. <laughs> no. I guess I'm going to school like this in my pajamas and without brushing my teeth. But my breath can't be that bad. <gasps> what? Ten minutes to get to school? But school's a 15 minute walk. Guess I'm running. Oh, you look... I know I look terrible, okay? I only had five seconds to get ready this morning, and then I had to run to school because I only had ten minutes to get to school. You should have used those five seconds to brush your teeth. Your breath stinks! Anyways, Timmy, shall we walk together to class? You go ahead first. I gotta use the bathroom. What? I only have 60 seconds to use the bathroom? That's plenty of time, Timmy. It isn't. I need to take a... I only have 15 seconds to get to class? <laughs> Was that Timmy? I really hope Timmy's okay. Oh no, I gotta get to class. I'm here, I'm here, everyone, I made it to class in time. Congratulations, now go sit down and stop disrupting my classroom. Yes, ma'am. Psst, where's Timmy? I haven't seen him in class yet. You don't know, Timmy's gone. He couldn't complete his task in time. No, not Timmy. Why is it giving me a task to do? Yeah, it does that sometimes. It doesn't only time you for tasks you were already gonna do. I'm in love with Jake. I've had a crush on him since the second grade. Ew. Why is the timer still going? Is that not good enough? I guess I have to tell him personally. Jake, I'm in love with you. I've had a crush on you since the second grade. I don't like you. I like men. Hey, Bree. Oh, hey, Sophie. I'm sorry I need to do this. Sophie, what are you doing? I have a task to do. I'd like to buy this granola bar. That'll be three slaps. What? But that's so expensive. Inflation's really bad right now. Do you want the granola bar or not? Yes, I want it. I'm so hungry. Hey, girl. Want to go to the mall with me after school? I can't. The currency now is tears, and I have no tears left to cry. Man, you're broke. I have lots of tears. I've been saving mine in this jug for years. Oh, wow. You're rich. Please come with me to the mall. Maybe I'll be able to make you cry, and then you can buy things. Okay, I'll come, but why do you have this? I really want to buy this bag, but it's so expensive. It's 10 tears. That's nothing. Let me try and make you cry. Okay. You're the disappointment in your family. That's why your dad never came back with the milk. No one in your life actually likes you. In fact, they find you annoying. People in your life only keep you around because they're bored. But the second someone better comes around, they ditch you in a heartbeat. Stop! I'm not going to stop until you have enough tears to buy the bag you want. The reason your boyfriend cheated on you is because you weren't a good enough girlfriend. On your birthday when none of your friends showed up because they said they were busy, they actually weren't busy. They just didn't want to come to your birthday. Also, your hair looks very, very dry. <laughs> the other day when you asked me if you'd ever be able to achieve your dreams, I said yes, but I really meant no. You're just not good enough. You're never going to achieve your dreams. <laughs> Look, Brie, you have more than enough tears. Lucky you. Lucky me. I'd like to buy this bag, please. All right, that'll be... No! All that work and what did it get me? 
Do you still want the bag? Yes, I do, but I'm not sure what to trade for it. Well, first of all, I like those earrings. Okay, they're yours then. But that's not enough. How about your shoes, too? Shoes, all right. And your pants. Huh? So, Sophie, where should we go shopping next? Hmm, how about a makeup store? Yes. Meet your new stepmother, Viola. It's nice to finally meet you. It's a pleasure to join the family and meet your two stepsisters, Bonnie and Priscilla. Hello. Oh, I must tell you about my daughters. Priscilla started singing when she was only four years old, I remember. No, enough about us. What about you? Huh? Oh, um, about me. I really enjoy... Oh, what a shame. She's all out of speaking time and she didn't get to say a thing. <laughs> Girls, now don't be rude. <laughs> Only five minutes to speak today? I better go say goodbye to father before he has to leave for his business trip. Yes, he's filthy rich and he's leaving for two months. Yes, it's going to be great. <laughs> Danielle, there you are. I was just about to head out. Father, please don't go. This business trip will allow you to go to that art school you've always wanted to go to. I know, but what if something happens to you? I don't want to be left alone. Nothing is going to happen to me. And you won't be alone. You'll be with Viola. No, I overheard her saying that... <laughs> Darling, it appears she's out of speaking time. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. I know you will. Love you all. See you soon. Farewell. <gasps> Two hours? Finally, I get more than a few minutes to speak. Danielle, we have news. Hello. There's a thing, you know, called knocking. Uh-huh. Whatever. We wanted to tell you the prince is having a talent show. And whoever has the best talent will become his wife. He's going to pick a wife based on their talent? That doesn't sound like a good plan to me. Plus, you guys know that the king is the one that enforces these speaking laws that limit our free speech? And the prince, he does nothing about it. Why would you want to marry someone like that? Because he's hot. And rich. <laughs> and since you don't have interest in attending, here's a list of things my daughters will need for the talent show. Go get them. Two things down on Viola's list, and five more to go. Oh, my foot got stuck in a hole. Somebody! What form do you wish to receive your magical gift, my dear? A ring or a necklace? Hmm, I pick... Choose wisely, because once you put it on, you will not be allowed to take it off. I pick necklace! Excellent choice! Now the necklace will protect you wherever you go. Are you sure that necklace will keep her powers contained? Yes, your majesty. The necklace's power is quite strong. So are her father's genetics. She must never know of her aquatic origins. Her father, King Triton, is extremely dangerous. She is to never find out about him. Do you understand? Yes, your majesty. I shall watch over the princess and make sure she never learns the truth. Are you all finished getting ready? Yes, Martha. But remind me again why I'm only allowed to take five minute showers. I barely had enough time to wash my hair. I told you, too much water dries out your skin. Next you shall be telling me that if I take too long in the shower, I'll turn into a mermaid. <gasps> what? Who told you that? Relax, I was only kidding. Hey, could you hold this? Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, why would you throw that? This is gonna sound insane, but I didn't. I just watched you throw it. What's happening? Um... Excuse me! What's going on? Oh, is your soulmate controlling your arm? My soulmate better hope I don't find them because this hand still works and it wants to hit them! You need to calm down. What are uh, you doing? Please, I just want a sip of water! Why are you struggling right now? My soulmate hates me! They probably don't, you're just dramatic. Oh wow, maybe they do. Okay, this is getting personal. What did you do to them? Who knows the answer to number seven? Go ahead, Bailey. 42. No, the correct answer is the Nile River. You can put your hand down now. Trust me, I wish I could. What are you pointing at? Um, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, go ahead. Listen here, buddy, you need to stop it right now. You're embarrassing me. Are you talking to your own arm? No. I think I know how to stop your soulmate. Sis, could you bring me toilet paper? Yeah, one sec. Here you go. Oh my god, it actually worked? I can't believe it. What worked? You made my name toilet paper? Oops, it was an accident. 
Give it to me. No, you're not getting this now. Are you kidding me? I need it. Suffer. Oh, hey, uh, toilet paper. Please don't call me that. Would you prefer TP? No, I would not. How could you get that bad of a Ugh, name? It wasn't my fault. You should plead your case for a redo to the officials. I didn't know you could get a redo. Only if it's really bad like yours. Go here. They should be able to help you. They better change it or I'm never leaving my house ever again. Next. Hi, I need to change my name. Go take a seat and someone will be with you. Hi, I'll be helping you today. You're who I'm pleading my case to? Is there a problem? No, no, no problem. Let's go. So are you going to speak? My sister tricked me right when I was able to pick my name. Are you stupid? Excuse me? Maybe you should just be smarter. But I didn't know that it was my turn to pick my name. Pay more attention. Please, can't you just consider it? Only if you can help me too. Like how? I need a date to my sister's wedding and I'm desperate. Oh, wait, Annie sounds kind of cute. I could go with that. So what name did you get? Oh, it says Annie Rection. Bailey, are you serious? I think you need to read that one more time. What? What do you mean? Do you hear what you're saying? Annie Rection. Oh! Oh! Decline! Oh my god, I can't believe I almost accepted that! You need to figure out how to read, apparently. Whatever. Remember, you can only decline two times. I know, but the next one has to be better than that. Yeah, you better hope so. Ben. I mean, that's usually a boy's name, but I could go by Ben. What is it this time? Ben Dover. Girl, you have got to be kidding me, right? Not again. Oh, hey, Amanda. Yeah, that's not my name anymore. It's Taylor Swift now. That's the name you got? Yeah, isn't it awesome? What did you get? You don't want to know. Please be good. PP time. I don't want to be called PP. Sis, please tell me there's another way to change my name. There is, but you're not going to like it. I can see why you would be desperate. What's that supposed to mean? You've been mean since I started talking to you. If you had an aura, it would be red. Whatever, will you do it or not? If I say yes, will you change my name? Yes, I will. Wait, I have one condition. Fine, what? I want your piece of cake too. That's it, deal. Deal. So when's the wedding? In one hour. So you better change. I'm not changing. You can't wear that. Listen, buddy, I'm doing you a favor and I will not be putting on a dress. You're so stubborn. Hi, oh my gosh, you must be Zach's new girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm his mom, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a professional mime. Oh, I'd love to see. Oh, uh, oh, wow, that was good. Thank you. Well, it was nice to meet you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was trying to make a good first impression as your girlfriend. You're embarrassing me. Behave or I won't change your name. Fine, I'll behave. Oh, look, here comes the groom. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Marina, please, no more jokes about mermaids. Okay. Ah, <sighs> hello, Marina. Hello, Mother. I have news. There is a Prince Dominic here to see you today, and he's very interested in you. Mother, must I really speak to him? I told you I'm over talking to princes. They're all the same. They're stuck up and- Enough of your excuses. You are past due for a husband. Now go out there and speak to him. Fine. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> uh, a pleasure to meet you, too beautiful necklace you have there. Ah, uh, yes. This is supposed to be a magical necklace that keeps me safe from any harm. Or at least, that's what my mother tells me. Really? Because that looks like a suppression necklace to me. What? Perhaps you have hidden powers no one wants you to know about. Me have hidden powers? Prince Dominic, I think you're mistaken. Maybe, or maybe not. Would you care for some food? I could go fetch it for us. Yes, that would be lovely, thank you. Of course. What a weirdo. Thinking that I have powers? Yeah, right. What's happening to my drink? <sighs> Stop! Are you alright? Oh, actually, I'm not feeling very well. Please excuse me. Wait! Marina, where did you go? Doesn't he know how to take a hint? My magic necklace is at 90%? What does that mean? Marina? <sighs> Martha, you scared me. I'm sorry, I was just... <gasps> Your necklace, it's showing 90%. That means you're low on energy. Are you sure? Because it's never shown that you need a nap before. Martha, I already told you, I'm not- Rest. Oh, <sighs> tired. Yes, just sleep. Oh dear. How did this happen? The magic necklace must be losing its power. You were right. Her father's genes are very strong. It's now only suppressing her transformation by 80%. This is horrible. For all we know, she could have witnessed some of her water powers. The kingdom cannot know that she is part mermaid. We mustn't let her leave this room until I think of a solution for this.
I'm a mermaid? That explains why my drink was bubbling earlier. I must be able to manipulate water. And this necklace, Prince Dominic was right. It is suppressing my power. I can't believe my mother was hiding this from me the whole time. I should take off this necklace and see what happens. <sighs> it's stuck. Do you need some help? How long have you been in here? Long enough to hear you talking to yourself. I'm glad you finally learned the truth. Your father is very eager to see you. Eager to see me? My father is... My father is dead. Your father is very much alive, and he wishes for you to come back to his underwater kingdom. Underwater kingdom? Yes, he sent me to bring you back home. I should probably speak to my mother about this first, because... No, we must leave immediately. It's time you take your true form. Wait! That's better. I have a tail? Yes, and you... <sighs> oh boy. Marina? Time to go. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Bye. Bye, Mom. Hi, Bree. Hi, Timmy. How was your morning? I had the worst morning ever. When I woke up this morning, I fell down the stairs. Then I went to pour my cereal Timmy, and- Timmy, stop. No, you need to hear this. I forgot the bowl. I poured milk and cereal all over my kitchen table. Yapping disease. And then I- Hi. Brianna? You okay? Timmy's gone. What happened? Yapping disease. I can't believe my brother caught the yapping disease. You know it's crazy because just this morning he was fine and now all of a sudden he's gone and all yapping remembers disease. these. Why aren't you in class? I'm sorry, sir. Just something happened to Timmy and I was really sad and I'm scared because Jimmy. Uh oh. Ow, my nose. Brianna, what happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I think my son was getting beaten up, but I think it's over now. <laughs> Brianna, are you okay? I think my soul just got punched in the stomach. Bri, are you crying? Are you okay? Me? Yeah, I'm completely fine. I just think my soul feeling really sad right now. Alright, you sure you're gonna be okay? I'm just so sad right now. <laughs> ugh, ugh. <laughs> Brother, ugh. Brianna, keep down your volume. I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith, but my son is getting kissed right now by a girl or a guy, and it's making me really, really uncomfortable. I don't care. Don't disrupt my class again. <gasps> no, just babe. Your soulmate might be having a heart attack. Oh, no, that's not good. Because if your soulmate dies, you'll die too. 